Today is a follow-on video from the one I released earlier this week where I said do not update the firmware on your DJI FPV drone or DJI Digital FPV system. Now, I recorded that video after my live stream Sunday night because it was apparent that DJI had pushed out a stealth firmware update that was locking you out from not only downgrading the firmware in the future, but also certain capabilities that you may have with third-party pieces of software. When I recorded the video, the picture though wasn't full about what was going on, and actually just after I finished, it was apparent that DJI had not only released this firmware, but they were forcing it upon users as well. At the time I made the video live and whilst what I have said is correct, I haven't actually covered off the whole situation in that video because it was evolving as the video went out and today, five days later, we have a bit of a better understanding of what the situation is. This one is going to try and explain the whole thing and what you need to do or not do, I should say, depending on what system you have. We're going to discuss the situation for the DJI FPV drone specifically, the situation for FPV version 1 owners, version 2 owners, as well as ear units. And what I'll try and do is put chapter marks in it, so depending on what system you've got will depend on what bit you need to be interested in. But hopefully by the end of this video, I should have covered the current situation as of today for all of the systems, and hopefully you'll have an idea of what you do or don't need to do. So, to first of all explain this whole situation again, but try and put a bit more context in it first, and then we'll move on to each individual system specifically. So, last week, DJI have quietly rolled out a upgraded version of firmware, which has an older version number for the DJI FPV drone and the DJI FPV goggles version 2. This firmware will only show when your FPV goggles version 2 are in FPV drone mode and connected to the Fly app with your smartphone. What will happen is if you connect your Fly app to the FPV goggles version 2 with your FPV drone, you will see a prompt that says there is an update available and you will be forced to install that update before you're actually able to use the drone. There is a few confusing things around this update, and the biggest of them being the version number, because the original firmware for the DJI FPV drone was version 01.02.0020. However, this new update is version 01.02.0015, so it's actually an earlier version, but it's a newer version. So DJI have done something rather strange in that side of things. Now, the effect of installing this firmware update is as follows. If you were to install it on your FPV goggles version 2 in FPV drone mode, it will block the ability for you to use NLD drone hacks, as well as some other things that I will talk about in a minute. It is worth me mentioning that the actual firmware version 01.02.0020, which we had originally, also did block that software. However, you had the ability in that firmware to downgrade. The big difference with the 0015 firmware that DJ have pushed out is that they have blocked the ability for you to downgrade the firmware. And that is the reason I put the video out to say, do not upgrade, because whilst when you went to 0020, you couldn't use that software, you could downgrade. With this new upgrade 0015, not only will it not work with the third party software, such as NLD and drone hacks, but also you will have no ability to downgrade and you will be stuck and have no ability to use that software moving forward. Now, there is some other things that this update has blocked as well, and one of them wasn't actually public at the time of me making that video, but now is, and that is the brand new root exploit that has been shared for the DJI Digital FPV Goggles version 2, version 1, as well as the DJI Ear Units from the fantastic team of guys who's been working on it. If you don't know what that root exploit is, it basically means 
the guys have managed to gain access to the very core subsystem of the DJI FPV system, which will allow them to basically gain full control. This could lead on to them having the ability to do various things with the DJI FPV goggles and system, maybe including developing MSP OSD properly, running third-party software, and any other changes we may want. The root exploit in itself will not do these things, but what it has done is kick the doors open, allowing people to go in and have a deep look at what is actually being done with the DJI FPV system, and then customize it moving forward, just like we have seen on Android devices when we've had root exploits before. Again, it's worth me mentioning that that firmware version 01.02.0015 will also block your ability to do that. The version 2.0 actually blocks it as well. However, you did have the ability to downgrade. So the situation remains right now that you should avoid upgrading to this new version of firmware at all costs, unless you have no interest in using the likes of drone hacks, NLD, or this root exploit that has been found for the FPV system. If those things are not of interest to you, then you shouldn't worry and you can carry on as normal. However, personally, I would avoid upgrading whatever the case. Now, just to try and explain some of the quirks around this on each of the individual systems. Starting with the DJI FPV drone and the FPV goggles version 2, specifically in FPV drone mode, not FPV air unit mode. This new firmware will be presented to you when you connect your FPV drone or FPV goggles version 2 in drone mode to the Fly app. It will be offered to you via Assistant 2, but it will only lock you from flying, as I understand it, if you connect it to the Fly app. That firmware will update it to version 01.02.0015, and as I've said several times, block you from using the system moving forward unless you update it. And if you do update it, you will not be able to use NLD, drone hacks, or any of these new root exploits. If you are DJI FPV goggles version 2 owners, with or without the FPV drone, but you are using them in FPV mode, you will not be prompted to get this update. FPV ear unit mode is using a different version of firmware because basically the FPV goggles dual boot depending on what mode you set. So for instance, when you tell them to boot in FPV drone mode, it selects one firmware, and then you tell it to boot in FPV ear unit mode, it selects another firmware. In FPV ear unit mode, you will not be prompted to update. However, there is a little quirk here you need to be aware of. If you connect the FPV goggles version 2 in FPV ear unit mode to Assistant 2, it will simply show you the same firmware version we have always had, which ends in 0606. That firmware is fully compatible with the new root exploit and has no blocks in place. However, once you have upgraded the version 2 goggles in FPV drone mode to this new 0015 firmware, it will block you on the other side from using those exploits on the FPV air unit mode, and you will not be able to go back to that version. So basically, once you have upgraded the version 2 goggles in drone mode to this new 0015 firmware, it will damage both sides of the system and you will be blocked out. For FPV version 2 goggle users in FPV mode all of the time, basically, don't update. Just keep the system as it is. At this moment in time, they have not forced an update for that. There appears to be no forced update on ear units, and that system is running exactly the same at this time. For FPV goggle users version 1, this whole thing 
doesn't apply. There is nothing in place that will block that. There is no update that prevents the use of the root exploit at this time. However, be warned that there may be new firmware pushed out in the future that could. So take great care on updating the firmware on your FPV version 1 goggles in the future, just in case that happens. Now, I see a lot of questions from people about what do I do with things that I'm about to buy or I already own but haven't activated. If you're someone who is about to buy a DJI FPV drone version 2, the chances are you are stuffed. You are going to probably be forced to upgrade to this firmware when you activate the drone. There is no way, as far as I recall, to activate the FPV drone and version 2 goggles in FPV drone mode via Assistant 2, and it has to be done via the Fly app. And this was actually part of the cause. We had all of the problems in the early days from people getting FPV goggles version 2 in drone mode and no way to switch them into ear unit mode to activate them. If you've bought a DJI FPV drone, it probably won't have this new firmware on it right now, but you're going to be forced to install it when you activate it via the Fly app, and there isn't really going to be an easy way around that. You can try activating it and then force closing the app, taking your phone offline and seeing if it locks you out. But if it has instigated the lock already, you will have no choice but to actually upgrade the firmware before you'll be able to use your FPV drone and you're going to be locked out on both sides of the system. If you're someone who has just bought a set of FPV goggles version 2 for FPV only, it really will depend on how your goggles arrive to you in what mode. If they arrive in the FPV ear unit mode, you'll be fine. Just plug it into Assistant 2, activate, and you'll have no worries at all. However, if they come to you in FPV drone mode, you're going to have no choice but to connect them to the Fly app to activate, and again, probably be forced into installing that 0015 firmware. A final note to mention is what about people who have spare equipment such as DJI FPV ear units and should you actually activate or upgrade them now? The answer from me on that is yes. Right now I would activate any spare hardware you have so you are not forced to connect it to DJI Assistant in the future. As I've said, this new root exploit has just been found and released, and whilst this new firmware hasn't been released to specifically stop the use of that, there is a very, very real possibility that DJI will release a firmware update specifically for the version 1 FPV goggles and the version 2 FPV goggles, blocking that root exploit in the future. So not uh, actually activating your system now may end up forcing you in the future to have to have that firmware. There is nothing to stop DJI doing something on new hardware that you buy in the future that forces you to upgrade. And there is a very real possibility we could end up in that position. For instance, with new ear units, DJI could put a change in on the radio system that will force you to have to upgrade your goggles if you want to use it with those ear units. However, that isn't the case today, but again, it is a very, very real possibility because it is always a game of cat and mouse when you have developers doing one thing with a system unofficially and the manufacturer trying to close that down. The only other thing I just want to mention on the FPV ear unit side is as far as we understand it, this new firmware has no impact on the NACO hacks for FCC or the 1200 milliwatt mode. So even if you were to install 0015 on your version 2 goggles and then switch over to FPV ear unit mode, it will be fine. You can still use those hacks because they're not really hacks, they're sort of undisclosed features. However, it would block the use of the root exploit. Okay, so just to try and quickly summarize the situation, because I'm not convinced I've explained it quite as easily as I could have. This new firmware, which has a lower version number than the last firmware, is version 01.02.0015. This firmware will block 
the access to NLD drone hacks as well as the new root exploit and it also will block the ability for you to downgrade the firmware in the future. It will only prompt you to upgrade via the DJI FPV drone mode. If you do not enter FPV drone mode with your version 2 goggles, you will not see this firmware because it isn't on the standalone FPV side. However, if you do install it on the FPV drone side, it will also block the root exploit access on the FPV air unit side. It is not for the FPV goggles version 1, so you don't have to worry. And whilst it doesn't affect the hacks such as NACO and the 1200 milliwatt hack, there is the possibility that DJI will push out a specific update for the FPV e unit side of things, also blocking access to this software in the future. And my advice today is activating all of the hardware that you already have to make sure that you don't get forced into doing it. Remember, this firmware is a forced firmware update, so the second you do connect your FPV drone or FPV goggles version 2 when in FPV drone mode to the fly app, you will be forced to do the update or you won't be able to fly. As I've said, today DJI have not made any changes on the FPV e unit side of things, but I do see them pushing a firmware update out that might because of this new root exploit, and there is no guarantee that buying any future hardware won't make you have to upgrade anyway. So if you are very, very worried about that, it wouldn't be a bad thing to stock up on some extra hardware now. Hopefully this has covered everything. If you do have any questions, I will try and answer them in the chat. I do apologize if it has come across quite complicated because it is a complicated situation. That's it from me on this one. Stay safe and I will speak to you guys again soon.